Hey, morning. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is how to create an effective morning routine for yourself. Let's dive in. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So as mentioned, today we're gonna go over morning routines. We're also gonna go over how to create a morning routine that fits your individual lifestyle and that'll be most productive for you. And then of course, we'll go over different examples of morning routines and I'll take you through my personal morning routine that I do every morning. You also wanna make sure that you stay until the end of the video because just like the importance of morning routines, we're gonna go over the importance of creating a good night routine that'll help you get good sleep and feel rested when you go to bed at night. So first thing we'll go over is a couple of the benefits of a good morning routine. One of the biggest benefits is that it increases your productivity. This has been scientifically proven that when you have an established morning routine with consistency that's productive right from the start, it actually increases productivity throughout the rest of your day. In other words, when you wake up and all of a sudden, you know, your bed is made, uh, you've planned out different tasks, maybe you've uh, worked in some meditation and done an exercise routine in the morning, something along those lines, you've already completed a couple of tasks for yourself and that really sets the tone for the rest of your day. So it really helps with productivity and work, uh, any other tasks inside and outside of your career or personal things that you wanna take care of. Again, it just starts to build momentum right from the start, right when you wake up. Another big benefit of having a good morning routine is it's been scientifically proven to lower your overall stress levels. The reason why is because stress often comes when we feel rushed or anxious or like we don't have enough time in the day to get done tasks that need to be completed. So when you start with a nice morning routine, you feel more in control, you feel more grounded and present when it comes to the different tasks at hand. And when you feel in control and calm and relaxed right from when you wake up, well, of course, you're gonna feel a lot lower stress. You're gonna be able to handle whatever tasks come up in a much easier, more relaxed manner. Another big benefit of having a great morning routine is it helps you establish healthy habits. When you're waking up in the morning and you're taking time to ground yourself, to plan your tasks, to make a good breakfast for yourself, to give your body energy, you're establishing the mentality of good habits and doing good things. It just helps you establish these healthy habits that will in the end increase your productivity. One more big benefit of having a great morning routine is that it actually helps you increase your confidence. All confidence is is keeping the promises that you made to yourself. So when you say you're gonna get up at a certain time and then you're gonna meditate and then you're gonna take the dog for a walk and you're gonna go do a workout and you actually follow through on that, there's a couple ways that'll help build confidence. One, you're being a man or a woman of your word. So you believe what you say and what you say you follow through with. So you have confidence that when you say you're gonna do something or that a task needs to be done, again, you have that momentum and, and follow through that you're actually gonna do that. And then the other way it increases confidence is you wake up and you're relaxed and you're chill in the morning, and you're collected in your thoughts, and you're present, and you're not rushing and anxious throughout the day, when you're more calm and collected and cool, right, we've all heard that, you'll naturally have a, a better confidence level to you because you'll be present, you'll be grounded in the moment. Years ago, I read a book called The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod, and it really, really helped me understand the importance and establish a good morning routine. He has a specific method that he recommends that you do in order to establish a good routine, and it's the acronym SAVERS. S-A-V-E-R-S. -E and what SAVERS stands for, silence, affirmations, visualizations, exercise, reading, and scribing or writing. Silence, of course, is sitting in silence with yourself. You can do this in many different ways. I think this is just his version of meditation. The second is affirmations. What statements do you need to hear and affirm to yourself in order to put yourself in the right frame of mind to handle the rest of your day? Third one is visualizations. A visualization is an incredibly powerful tool. And what I recommend you do is that you visualize not just how you want your day to go, but start with the bigger vision. How do you want your life to go? Think about big goals that you have imagined and take some time to visualize what it looks and more importantly, what it feels like to be living that life, to be living that version of you and your life. And then start to work backwards and think about how you want your month to go. You know, if you're in sales, for example, how many sales do you wanna have this month? What 
what your you know your total gross sales that you want to have and then start thinking about how you want your day to go and visualize step by step piece by piece what you want your life to look like the fourth one is exercise i'm han of dime france and we want to pop you are. And obviously I'm a huge proponent of exercise. Now I believe that everybody has a, a certain time that they'll be more apt and prefer to work out in. For instance, I like to work out kind of late mornings, 10, 11 a.m. Um, some people like to work out 4, 5, 6 a.m. Some people like to work out at night, you know, at 5, 6, 7 p.m. Uh, so I believe that that is a personal preference, but what I recommend doing is that you at least go for a walk. And I think there's some movement in your life in the morning as a part of your routine. Maybe you just knock out 50 push-ups. Maybe you just knock out 100 jumping jacks, or maybe you you know do some planks so the purpose of the exercise section is that you establish some type of movement within your body a lot of the time when we wake up and we're groggy that exercise or that morning activity will help you establish a good energy level and kind of wake you up cognitively another little bonus for this one is when you take a shower in the morning if you take a cold shower and maybe you don't go ice cold right in the beginning but you do room temperature and then a little bit colder and a little bit colder I found that especially on the morning that I'm feeling super groggy man if I get in there and I do like a cold shower holy shit I'm like I'm like beaming and I wake up quite a bit it's a shock to the system and it's uncomfortable but I mean that's what it's there for you've probably also heard Tony Robbins right he does a cold plunge every morning uh, he jumps in you know like 40 35 degree water or something like that and just um, instantly you're you know, it changes your physiology and you're immediately woken up. I definitely recommend doing some type of movement. For me, since I do intense, intense workouts, walking my dog is, is part of my morning routine. The next one is reading. Recommend that you do some reading in the morning, even if it's, you know, reading five pages in a book. You think about it, you read five pages in the morning, you know, whatever it takes, 10 minutes or something like that. Those five pages, you read 35 pages in a week, and then that adds up to 140 pages in a month. And then what, within two months, you've read a book and then you've read six books within a year so it's funny how those little tiny things can actually add up the benefit of reading of course is that just like working out is exercise for your body well reading is exercise for your mind you're engaging yourself mentally and then the last one is scribing and this is writing this is doing some journaling uh, whether you've got some thoughts weighing heavy on your mind or your heart or you've got some plans that you want to write out journaling is absolutely invaluable when you can clear your thoughts especially if you have a lot to do during the day just write some stuff out you know and say okay make a list I need to do this this and this or even just say okay relax you'll get all this stuff done notice your state of mind feeling anxious and overwhelmed just writing out those words and acknowledging kind of your thoughts or your feelings can balance your energy and help you become more centered. And this kind of just sets you in a state of mind in which you're calm, you're cool, you're collected. That is the miracle morning routine that Hal Elrod uh, writes about in his book. You may wanna give that a look and it's just a good little short read as well. But you can also make your morning routine. What I recommend doing is start with what time you wanna wake up and start waking up at a consistent time. The consistency will breed the habit and the habit, it'll become automatic. And when it's automatic, all of a sudden you're doing these things that are really good for you, but you're not really thinking or using any energy to do it. It's just an automatic action that you take. And then think about what kind of things would be <clears throat> most useful for you. If you've never meditated before, I highly recommend that you start <clears throat> doing some meditations. There's tons of free apps out there. You can just look on YouTube for guided meditations for you know confidence, anxiety, for nervousness, for stress, whatever. There's an app on your phone called Insight Timer. Also Headspace is a popular app as well that's uh, on your phone. And you can just do these little 10 minute free med guided meditations or sit in silence. And that's a powerful one. And allow yourself to just clear out all the thoughts and any kind of like mental debris is what I call it. So you can have a clear mind going forward. If you don't want to start in silence, you know, some people want to hop up and they want to get moving right away. Maybe you wake up and you go straight for a run and that's your morning routine. So you pick a time to wake up, you put your running shoes next to your bed, you know, you brush your teeth, you know, take a pee, whatever you got to do. You just hop out the doormat, go straight for a run or straight for a work. 
work out. I remember at one point in my life when I was working out at like 6 a.m. and it was powerful, man. I didn't want to do it, but really when I'd go early and I was like, you know, overcame those demons and I was like, oh, oh my God, it really set me on a whole nother level. Or maybe you want to get up and you're one of these people who you wake up and you got a shit ton of thoughts on your mind. You're like, oh my God, I'm going crazy. Like, uh, I'm just, and you're feeling stressed. If you're someone who wakes up super stressed and like feeling overwhelmed right away with the tasks. I actually recommend that you journal first and get out all the crap in your head. Just get it out on paper. Oh my God, I'm worried about this and I got to do this. Blah, 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 blah. Just verbal diarrhea, all the crap, man. Just get it out. If you're someone who wakes up really anxious or overwhelmed, get that crap out. Then I recommend you do something like sit in silence and like just allow that energy to like settle down. And that would be super helpful. And then go and work out, right? You'll have to play with it and figure out what fits into your life and what structure. But I do recommend that you do a couple pieces of the savers routine in whatever order is best for you and pick a time that works out for your lifestyle. So I told you I'd share my routine. What I do is I'm up, my alarm is up at 4.30 and then I've been doing for the past like 40 day, I'm on like day 36 or day 37 in a row. I've been doing these guided Dr. Joe Dispenza meditations that are an hour long with headphones. It's, it's pretty intense and then I'll come through and I'm actually working with a coach right now, <clears throat> but um, she's got me doing some stuff. So I'll write in my journal, you know, I'll, I'll review my goals, both long-term and short-term, and then I'll kind of plan out my day and then usually make breakfast. And then now I'm about to take my dog for a walk. So that's kind of my routine. That's kind of my morning routine is I'll wake up, I'll do an intense meditation, and then I'll do review my goals uh, and journal any thoughts that I have. Then I'll take my dog for a walk, and then kind of get on with my day. So you'll figure out what works for you. And on that note, little side tip too, if you're ever feeling overwhelmed or like, you know, depressed or down, get up and just go for a walk. Get up and go for a walk or a run, because all that's happening is you're beginning to mentally ruminate about thoughts and things that don't serve you. Well, when you're out moving or you go and read a book or you go do something different, it changes your frame of mind and you don't sit there kind of dwelling uh, on heavier thoughts. You can go and kind of change your mindset a little bit, change your body. So that's a little tip too. If you ever get like that, hey, and we all do, get up, go for a walk, go for a run, read a book, something, listen to a podcast. Just get out of your current state, your current environment, get out of your apartment, your house, whatever. Give that a shot. Go out and you know, give yourself some version of a morning routine. I promise you, if you start instilling a routine, you do it for 30 days in the morning, you're gonna be incredibly more peaceful, relaxed, you're gonna be way more productive, you're gonna be way more focused, you'll probably get a lot more done, you'll feel a hell of a lot better just all through mind, body, and soul, and I can promise you that. I'm gonna be coming out with a video very soon about a good nightly routine to kind of reframe people, and I've noticed a lot with my clients, a lot of people actually have trouble getting to sleep at night. They struggle, maybe they just feel restless and they can't go to bed, or their mind is going a million miles a minute. So I'm gonna make a video very soon and drop that as far as like a good nightly routine so that you can feel really relaxed and kind of calm down. So right when your head hits the pillow, I mean, you're just out and you're rested and asleep, and you're, you know, you're not sitting there like, you know, with insomnia or waking up during the middle of the night and things like that. As we know too, man, sleep is so important. If you don't get enough sleep, it just, it screws everything. It screws your mental up, screws your physical up. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for that video and a lot more as far as fitness goes. Uh, but that's it for today, guys. So you guys have a great rest of your day and get that morning off to a good start and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.